Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is my Edexcel IGCSE Series 2. This is number 5, it is Constructions. Uh, in my Series 1, um, my Constructions video is possibly the worst video I've ever made. I tried to do it um, on a computer, it just didn't work very well. So this time I've done something different. I have done all my constructions by hand, uh, and I feel myself doing it, and now I'm going to be talking over what I have just done. So let's go, Mr. Asprey of two hours ago. Let's see what you've got for me. So, first thing you need to do, make sure your compass and needle is exactly at uh, together at the tip there. And then this question, we are using the ruler and the compass to construct the bisector of angle ABC. So I put my needle on the point B, and then I draw an arc which cuts both of the two side lengths. I then put my needle on the intersection point, and I draw another arc uh, as smoothly as possible and it's important that you make sure that the needle and the pencil stay the same distance apart when you do your two arcs at the top there. Okay so if you've done that correctly then if you connect up the intersection point back to the um, corner of the angle that you're bisecting then you will have bisected that angle perfectly. Okay, let's see, yep, yeah, very good, line it up nice and straight, draw the line, lovely. And I think I even put a little, yeah, a little angle sign there and a little angle sign there to show they're the same. Fantastic. Okay, next question is exactly the same. It is to, again, construct the bisector of the angle ABC. Um, so once again, you put the needle at the uh, base of the angle, and then you draw an arc that cuts twice, uh, once on each side. And then we draw an arc at the top, and we draw another arc at the top, one from each intersection point. And as long as you've kept the needle and the pencil the same distance apart when doing those two arcs at the top, then it should bisect the angle perfectly. Lovely. Okay, right, paper change. Come on, come on. Nice and smooth. There we go, right, bring it down. Come on, Mr. Asprey of two hours ago. Come on, there you go. Right, ruler and compass only construct the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So what you do is you put your needle on one of the uh, ends of the line and then you make sure that your distance is more than half of the line. So it has to be more than half. I recommend three quarters is probably the best um, needle and pencil width. Uh, so you do your arc, I'd, I like to do a big semicircle uh, from B and then draw another semicircle from A and make sure that yeah I tried to do it in my right hand uh, which wasn't very natural so I had to do it in my left hand but better still would be to move the paper it's better to move the paper than to try and draw an arc at a funny angle okay then you connect up the two intersection points and that will give you a perpendicular bisector so I've drawn the right angle in there to make sure it's perpendicular and the two um, dashed lines either side to show that it is uh, perfectly the same on either side. Okay, right, more practice. Here is another one. Uh, again, a perpendicular bisector. So you need to put your needle um, at, at uh, one of the uh, endpoints and draw um, a semicircle I like to do like that. Oops, I see my, it slipped there. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the needle and the pencil go back to exactly the same distance apart because for both arcs, you have to have the same distance between your needle and your pencil. And I draw the one from there and the slip at the top hasn't really hasn't affected the construction because we're only really interested in where they intersect and the slip was past the intersection point, so that's fine. Connect up the two intersection points and jobs are good. And the other construction you might be able to ask 
to do is to do a, um, a bisector from a point. Um, so what you do there is you put your needle on the point, you draw an arc that cuts the line in two places, and then you just do a perpendicular bisector from those two places. Okay, next one, and we have we have to construct a triangle. And this time we're given the um, two sides and an angle. So we've got one side drawn for me, and it says that the angle uh, at B is 65, so I need to put my protractor at the angle B, so it says angle ABC, which means basically it's a B. So I put the crosshairs right on B as accurately as I can, and I can see that the zero lines up on the outside. So I go around the outside numbers and I select 65. So I draw a little dot there at 65. And then I need to draw a, um, uh, a line, which is 6.2, um, in distance. So I put my ruler uh, on the dot and then I line it up so that 6.2 is measured at B and then I can just draw a line that connects uh, from the start of the ruler to 6.2 which will be at B. Yep, just double checking that's correct. Okay, so then I can do 6.2, label that there and I can label this side 65. And then all that's left to do is to connect up the uh, vertex at C back to the vertex at A. And I think I'll label that C as well. Lovely. Okay, we're back for the next question. Right, we need to construct a, um, a triangle. And we're told we've got three sides this time. So the first side is five. So I put my needle and pencil on the ruler, literally on top of the ruler, and measure out five centimeters between the needle and the pencil. And that five centimeter is coming from A. So I put my needle at A, and then I draw my arc. See what I do, I spin the paper to make it easier for myself to be able to use the compass. Uh, okay, and then the next one is at BC, so again, I put my needle and my pencil literally on top of the ruler and I measure out um, eight centimeters. And then I put my needle at B because it says BC there. And then I draw, um, and that I'm right handed, so that, that, that action feels natural to me, pushing away from myself. And I'm always trying to push away from yourself when you use the compass. And then because the intersection point um, is on both arcs, it means that that line is five centimeters back to A, and this line will be eight centimeters back to B. Brilliant. Good job. Happy with that. Okay, and this final one here is uh, it's also a side 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 so that means that we have three sides they're all six because it's an equilateral triangle so i put my needle and my pencil on top of the ruler and measure out six centimeters i then put it at b and draw an arc oops let's see i just jogged there so what i need to do is i need to reset my six centimeters because when you jog it's going to change the distance between the pencil and the needle uh, so put it back there and as long as the jog happens after the intersection then it's absolutely fine it's not going to change the um, uh, the point of intersection okay perfect yep so that seems fine to me and then what I'll need to do is just connect up that point of intersection back down to B which will be six centimeters to there and back down to A, and that will be six centimeters as well. Um, so I think that is job done. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I certainly did. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.